Hey everybody, good morning. Uh, we're into December, yay. Uh, so I wanna do a video on uh, DWAC. DWAC is the stock ticker. It is Trump's media company. Um, it is a SPAC, it hasn't de spacked yet, so it's not officially Trump's media company yet, but there are plans for it to be Trump's media company. Um, if you know how SPACs work, like this is just part of the SPAC process. I personally try to avoid SPACs, but SPACs can be great if you're a trader because there's a lot of volatility. Um, but just as quick as they go up, obviously they can go down. Um, and so, I don't know, I'm very we're, we're weary of SPACs in general, um, and I, they're not my thing. Like, I've made money on SPACs, trading SPACs, but it's very, very volatile. Like, and most of the time SPACs, before this SPACing, before becoming the actual company that they're going to be once the SPAC merger is done, um, or de spacking is done, uh, before then, they almost always go back to $10, right around $10, which is what pipe investors pay to get in, usually, usually. So, Let's talk about DWAC or Trump Media. Um, I'm gonna go here really quickly. Let's go to the web. Um, not this web, let's go here. Let me pull this up really quick. Um, where are we? There we are. All right, so we will go here first. All right, uh, this was on Rudders. Uh, exclusive, Trump social media venture seeks $1 billion raise sources. So the stock price is going up right now, um, or it was before I got on this video. Um, whenever a company seeks to raise money, seeks to raise capital, generally that means, a lot of times it means issuing more shares of stock, which makes the stock more diluted. Um, and dilution is usually not good unless they are doing like an offering for, to make an investment because they're a growth company and they need to make an investment, which maybe is what Trump social media do, is doing. Um, let's, let's read here. Okay, so December 1st, uh, former President Donald Trump, new social media venture is seeking to raise up to one billion by selling shares to hedge funds and family offices at several times the valuation it commanded in a deal with a blank check acquisition firm in October. Two people familiar with the matter said uh, Trump Media Technology Group, oh, two people familiar with the matter said Trump Media and Technology Group, which has yet to roll out the social media app, it says it is developing, already stands to receive $293 million if it's deal to list in New York, uh, in New York through a merger with blank check firm Digital World Acquisition Corp is uh, completed, DWAC. Um, the deal valued Trump Media at 80, 875 million, including debt. Uh, Trump Media is now seeking to raise up to an additional, an additional $1 billion at a valuation of close to $3 billion uh, to reflect Digital World share rally after Trump supporters and day traders snapped up the stock, the sources said. Uh, it is the clearest indication yet that Trump and the digital world dealmakers are seeking to capitalize on the market euphoria around their venture, which has so far been fueled by its ambitious goals rather than a business that is up and running. Uh, digital World shares were valued at $10 each in the deal with Trump Media. Trump Media is now looking to secure a so-called private investment in public equity, uh, PIPE, that value Digital World shares closer to their recent price than the sources set. So it would value the shares at what they were trading at before this recent, before the spike today. Um, the sources added that Digital World shares may be valued based on a 20% discount of their 10-day volume weighted average price. The sources requested anonymity uh, because the matter is confidential. Trump Media and Digital World did not respond to requests for comment. 
Bloomberg News reported last month that the companies were seeking to raise a pipe without any t details on its terms. Uh, Digital World shares soared on Wednesday as investors welcomed the news that the pipe would dilute existing Digital World shareholders less than they expected by pricing at a level much higher than the customary $10 per share seen in most mergers with blank check firms. Uh, the shares, which had been trading down 6% before news of the $1 billion raise, rallied to close up 7% at 4435 on NASDAQ, uh, then extended gains in after-hours trade rocketing up 31% to 5801. Most pipe transactions are inked before the deal to take the company public is rolled out, and it is far from certain that the companies will raise the entire $1 billion they are seeking following their deal announcement. Many Wall Street firms have snubbed the opportunity to invest, and many of the investors participating in the confidential roadshows for the pipe are hedge funds, family offices, and high net worth individuals, the sources said. Family offices manage the wealth of the very rich and their kin. Weighing on the deal's appeal is the reluctance of many investors to associate with Trump after he was banned from top social media platforms for encouraging his supporters to participate in January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol, which was based on unsubstantiated claims of widespread fraud in last year's presidential election. Some hedge funds that back the launch of Digital World include Saba Capital Management and Lighthouse Investment Partners have said they sold their shares to distance themselves from the Trump deal. The deal also faces regulatory risk. U.S. Senator Elizabeth Warren asked Securities Exchange Commission Chairman Gary Gensler last month to investigate the planned merger for potential valuations of security laws around disclosure. The SEC was, has declined to comment on whether it plans any action. Trump Media and Digital World have asked investors to finalize commitments to the pipe by the middle of December, the sources said. In a pipe roadshow attended by one of the sources, investors were asked to commit between $10 million and $20 million. Neither Trump nor Digital World executives made an appearance, and the investor presentation was led by David Borall, the president of EF Hutton, an investment bank that advised Digital World on the deal, the sources said. A Trump media representative was also in attendance, the source added. But Trump has been personally involved. Uh, he has been calling some investors to ask him to make a commitment to the pipe of more than $100 million, the second of the sources said. Investors attending the roadshow were shown a demo from the planned social media app called True Social, which like, looked like a Twitter feed, the sources said. Big plans. Uh, Trump has said he is launching his own social media app to stand up against the companies that have barred him from their platforms. He had 89 million followers on Twitter, 33 million on Facebook, and 24.5 million on Instagram at the time he was blocked, according to a presentation on his company's website. Since Trump has voted out, uh, since Trump was voted out of office last year, he has repeatedly dropped hints that he might seek presidency for a third time in 2024. A uh, special purpose acquisition company such as Digital World had lost much of their luster with the retail investors before the Trump media deal came along. Many of these investors were left with big losses after companies that merged with SPACs failed to deliver on their ambitious financial projections. True Social is scheduled for a full rollout in the first quarter of 2022 and is the first of three stages in the Trump media plan, followed by a sub subscription video on demand service called TMTG Plus that will feature entertainment, news, and podcasts, according to news release. In a slide deck of the website, the company envisions eventually competing against Amazon.com, AWS Cloud Service, and Google Cloud. All right, so let's go back here. All right, so uh, looking at that, <sighs> so it sounds, it's a mix of good and bad news to me, but some people will see it as good news, and as we've seen, the stock will go up. Um, <laughs> I guess it, there's less dilution than expected, from that, but then also there's they were supposed to already have a beta version of the app, and that hasn't happened yet. It was supposed to have happened in November. We are now, like I said, beta video, video in December. So that's kind of, eh, um, and like I don't know. Maybe there's something out there. Maybe they have released something, but as of now, I haven't seen anything. Um, and actually, let's pull this back up again. Uh, excuse me. Uh, pull that up again. Let him, 
okay? Uh, on CNBC, um, Trump's back social media company appears to miss his first product deadline. Former President Donald Trump's new social media company appears to have missed its own November deadline to launch an invitation-only beta version of True Social, its purported alternative to Twitter. So there's not a beta version released yet. Um, the shares price of, door, of Digital World Acquisition Corp., the SPAC company that plans to merge with Trump's social media firm, has dropped dramatically since its explosion, uh, since it exploded uh, when the deal was announced in late October. The November release date was the first clear test of whether the company could deliver on its promises to investors who bought stock in DWAC. Um, former President Donald Trump's new social media company appears to have missed the November deadline. It is set to release an invitation-only beta version of True Social, its purported alternative to Twitter. Uh, there have been no official announcements of beta launch, nor have there been any sightings or images of an operational platform online. At the same time, the price of the stock, Digital World Acquisition Corp., the SPAC company that plans to merge with Trump acquisition, uh, Trump's social media firm, has dropped dramatically since its share price exploded when the deal was announced in late October. Shares of DUAC, which had been trading as high as $175 a share right after the merger was disclosed, were trading around $44 per share on Wednesday. Late Wednesday afternoon, Reuters reported that Trump's new company is trying to raise up to $1 billion by selling shares to head funds and family offices at a price higher than its initial pre-merger valuation of $10 a share. Trump Media is now looking to secure a so-called private investment in public equity pipe that would value digital world, uh, world shares closer to their recent price currently hovering around $40. Ray, Rudders reported citing anonymous sources. Uh, the value of DWAC shares spiked during the final 10 minutes of trading Wednesday, jumping from 38.35 at 3.50 to a high of 51.02 just after 4 p.m. It is not unusual for tech companies to miss their own deadlines for product releases. But the November launch date that Trump Media and Technology Group set for True Social was the first clear test of whether the company could deliver on its promises to investors who bought stock in DWAC. Uh, representatives of TMTG and DWAC did not immediately respond to questions about True Social from CNBC. DWAC is a special purpose acquisition company, also known as a blank check company, which had an initial public offering in September that raised approximately $290 million on October 20th, DWAC announced that it plans to merge with Trump's newly created TMTG in a deal that valued the res resultant firm at up to $1.7 billion. In its own announcement, Trump Media Technology Group said it will soon launch its own social network named Truth Social. True Social is now available for pre-order in the Apple App Store. True Social plans to begin its beta launch for invited guests in November 2021. The announcement said, uh, a nation, nationwide rollout is expected for the first quarter of 2022. Those with inter, who are interested in joining True Social may now visit truesocial.com to sign up for the invite list. But as of Wednesday, the Truth Social website was still just a landing site and a sign up form to be on the waiting list. It does not appear to have changed since it was first launched in October and has a privacy policy dated September 20th. It is also unclear who is actually building the network. An investor presentation created by TMTG does not disclose any companies working on the True Social platform, nor does it list any executives involved in the social media site. The media relations officer for the company, Roma Doravi, has not tweeted about TMTG and, socials and True Social since October. Doravi did not respond to an inquiry from CNBC. DWEC stock had been trading at around $10 before the deal was disclosed. Between October 21st and 23rd, more than 500 million shares of DWAC were traded, and the company was one of the most discussed companies on retail traders' discussion boards. Owning shares of DWAC also became an emblem of political support for Trump. Several of the former president's most outspoken backers in Congress bought shares in the company, but the frenzy of speculation quickly died out. Within a week, the stock price began to fall and has been on a steady decline ever since. While Wednesday's close of 44.35 was more than four times the pre-deal trading price, people who bought DWAC shares uh, at the height of hype held on to the stock would have seen most of their investment value evaporate. Uh, if True Social actually launched as promised, the network would provide a platform for Trump, who was banned from Facebook and Twitter following his incitement of a deadly January 6th storming of the U.S. Capitol, without the ability of the communicate, to communicate directly with, his, directly with his followers. Trump has been forced to rely on press releases and appearances on friendly cable news channels. Twitter is not the only media platform Trump has allies 
and his allies are trying to replicate on their own in order to promote the former president. Trump's son, Donald Jr., Donald Trump Jr. and partner, also recently formed a publishing company, Winning Team Press, and published a coffee table book of photos from Trump's years in office. Okay, so, let's see here. <laughs> okay, so, is it possible that DWAC, which would become Trump Media, um, could be worth billions of dollars in the long run? Yes, it's very possible. Um, it seems like, though, they're, they're struggling. They're going to struggle. Um, and they are struggling. If they haven't gotten, like, it just doesn't feel like everything's falling into place for them yet. Um, and I don't know, like, could the company be worth billions in the long run? Yes. Is the company worth billions now? I mean, if you look at the stock price, yes, but I, off of nothing. So I don't know. <laughs> um, I think this is bad news. Like, I feel like this is bad news. But some people may see and be like, oh, yay, let's do it. So, but I, I am personally staying away from it. Um, if a friend were to ask me if they should get in, I'd be like, nope. I would tell them absolutely not. But you do you. Um, this is just my own personal opinion. I try to avoid SPACs until everything is settled and I can see what this company is going to do. And, and like all the warrants have been issued and used and... And like I know everything that's going on. There's just not a lot of details about DWAC or Trump media. Um, will there be? I hope so for investors' sakes. But as of now, there's not. And I just don't trust that. So this to me is bad news. I don't think the company stock price should be going up um, based on this news. Um, I think that it keeps its value right at what it was, which is like $40 or less. So... But that's just my own personal opinion. If you are a true Trump supporter or whatever, jump in there and have fun and good luck. But to me, I am avoiding this at all cost. I am avoiding DWAC and Trump media at all cost uh, just because it doesn't, it doesn't sit right with me. Like everything that's coming out about it doesn't sit right with me. So, but you do you. Okay, uh, that is all I got. That was kind of a long video, but I wanted to share my opinion on DWAC and Trump Media. Um, that's all I got. I hope you have a great day. Uh, good luck if you're in DWAC, and I will see you very soon. Bye!